Hello, power users. This is Bigny Pukowski. That is a hell of a dirty mirror, mirror. And we are going to tell you about error messages in Power Automate and the actions function. We will test the how to get the error details and error message, error code from our Power Automate flow. Okay, so let's start. Here I have my simple flow, which I trigger manually. Then I set the variable of the type of Boolean, which will then fail because the value will be a mismatch. It will not be a true or false. Then I, in the scope catch, I want to use the workflow function, which give me the, uh, the link of my, my workflow and send it in the email. Okay, so this is the basic, we, but we will now try to use the action scope to get the Instead of the compose and the workflow, we can delete this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can then delete our link. If you want to see how to do it, go to my other video. I will link it in the description. Uh, and now let's try to, for example, add an action, add a compose action, data operation. Let's go to the front to the front. Cool. Let's do it with actions. And I always try to write expressions uh, in the inputs. Okay, let's go with the actions. Hop, hop. Let's use the actions which we have. So it's a V test. Of course, name your action accordingly. This is totally uh, inappropriate name. And in the actions, let's let's now run the flow to see what data we can gather with with this. Cool. Let's run the flow. Run the flow. Done. Let's go to the actions part. Yeah, this failed successfully. This action, but the flow runs successfully because we run also the try part catch. So remember, this will uh, won't indicate you a failure. Okay, and we have inputs. What we have there? We have the code bad request. We have the status, of course. And we have the message. Okay, so this is fairly simple. Let's go with the code. And uh, let's go with the message. So I will grab the... What's the structures? The structure, structure is flat. So I will grab the error code and error error code and error message cool go error message code and error message cool so let's go with edit let's with the send and the email let's go with the error error and then go with the expressions. Let's use the outputs from my compose. Remember, rename it accordingly. And then go with the code, it was code. And the message of the error message. We will go with also the outputs. Up, up, and the compose. Then the, then the error and message. Did I do, do it correctly? I don't remember. Hopefully, let's test it. Up. Unable to process language. Okay, so I think I failed something. Property message doesn't exist. Sorry, let's go back. Let's go to compost. What was that? It was error message. <laughs> I used the three S. So as you can see, 
This is how it ends if I had live coding expressions up. Let's rewrite this. Up, compose, up, error, up, message. And uh, this is the reason why you always should, when you compose outputs, I was in a hurry, so I did not do it, but you always in compose outputs, you will in new comment, sorry, not this kind of comment, uh, you will uh, add a note and use the expressions here. And then you can have, have it copied and go back here and, and in the expressions you can go like this and this will work. Otherwise you are bound to re-enter compose parts in your flow, which will be really annoying if you are not the one who wrote this compose, right? Or you can... Okay, so it flow runs successfully. Uh, it sent the email and, and the error, bad request, error message, unable to process template language because it's not defined and valid. Great, this is working. Now you can we, when you have the, um, the regular mechanism working, uh, you can have a flow name here, for example, the flow blah, blah, blah failed. And then you can have the, the flow name here and also the link with the flow execution, which is uh, in my other video, but it's 11 minutes. So if you know how to do it, and I won't bother you in here now, but it's possible to send a link to a certain flow execution. Also remember that you would need to do it for each actions. If you have, uh, if you don't have all your actions in the, the scope try. So if you are using the try scope, then you will get the outputs from the try scope and it will fail, right? So, so you will have the, the fail right there without any need to repeating this over and over and over again for each action. Yeah. So that's it. Vigne Pukowski out. Hope that was helpful. If it was, I have many other videos about power apps, power platform, power automate, power automate, desktop, SharePoint, etc., etc. All the Microsoft stack. See you later. Have a great day.